Hey, basketball players and basketball fans, today I am going to be breaking down Nikolai Jokic's offensive game and how you can copy his game as well. Nikolai Jokic is one of the best centers in the NBA currently, and he has done a ton when it comes to his offensive game. Number one, his passing ability is insane and is what allows him to do more than one or two dribble post moves down in the low post. Usually if you're a center you only want to do one two dribbles max in the low post because you tend to get help defenders who come down and defend you in that low post and try to take away your game down there. However, Nikolai Jokic is able to pass out of the low post so well that it actually stops help defenders from coming down to double team that low post. It also helps that his team actually has some really great three-point shooters like Murray. So let's get down and let's break down Nikolai Jokic and his offensive game. So Nikolai Jokic is able to shoot the three-point shot, which is what brings defenders out of the post to defend him. He's also able to be a really good mid-range shooter, and he has the moves to back it up. So he has a defender, in this case Townsend, who is coming out to defend him. He takes a one dribble and then two dribble towards Townsend on that left side. He then spin fakes on Townsend and then, or sorry, Towns, and then he spins back and he does a fadeaway. Now, when he does that fadeaway, watch his footwork. He pivots out and then he gets that elbow underneath the basketball, which is going to allow him to have a straight shot and then because of that leg kicking out right at the end right there he's able to keep his body from turning continuously into that shot which allows him to be balanced enough to make that shot this is the same move that we would see Kobe Bryant do as well a quick spin fake turn and then fade away shot nice move so this is what makes the defenders honest when he's out in the perimeter now even though Nikolai Jokic is actually a quite a large player and he's actually getting in better shape during this coronavirus break, he is actually a really good ball handler. Now this is something that every center should be able to do when they are having or handling the ball. Check out that double behind the back crossover and that soft finish. Now this is something that every center needs to learn how to do. All it is is a quick crossover, they get that switch, and he knows that. He could have easily just powered through that player, but he sees this help defender coming down to cut off that lane. And because of that, we see him go behind his back one more time, just outside of the reach of that defender's hand, and then he is okay with looking down to get gather or gather that ball after that second cross. Now he has four players who are coming down to cut off that lane. However, he knows that he is the tallest and easily strongest out of any of those four players. And because of that, he's able to go straight up. He knows that he could go for that dunk, which is why this player didn't jump for it. This player did, but he had no chance of touching it because players in the NBA and pretty much anywhere don't feel like getting dunked on. So you can use that to your advantage, and he's able to finish with just a nice soft finger roll. This is something that every player should be able to do, and that is finish softly around the rim. To finish softly, you just have to lay that ball up really softly. You don't want to throw it hard against the backboard or the rim. So right here we have Jokic one more time. Now this is a defensive rebound, but watch what he does after the defensive rebound. This is really showing off his ability to pass. Check this out. He catches the ball. He is scanning and looking down the court right away. And what, he's, what does he find? He finds a player leaking out for an easy layup. That was a quick turnaround. So this is what I mean by a really great passer out of the post. We have Nikolai Jokic right there. We have a help defender way from over there. And 
trying to reach in. Obviously, this is an okay play because we have a center or a power forward here who is defending a player in the low post. Jokic is a really, really good passer in the post, so he doesn't want to come over and double team because he would have been wide open, even though that would have been a smart play because then he wouldn't have been caught way out of uh, sync with this player. He could have cut him off. He could have came over, but either way, what we see here is a really show off of Jokic's passing ability. He goes up for the up and under. He now recognizes, hey, I've got a passing lane and a player who is wide open. And because of that, he passes out. And of course, they get a wide open three. Now, this is another great play by Jokic. He's posting up Jonas in that low post. The opposite power forward or the opposite post defender comes out to double team which leaves this player wide open what should have happened was a rotation down to cut off here this player then guarding two players in the, out in the perimeter you would rather have a perimeter three-point shot than an easy layup at least in my opinion when I'm coaching and of course they don't do that and now there's a wide open player along the baseline who may have stepped out of bounds but either way wasn't called and he goes in for the slam dunk this is a great play that they ran. Now showing off the passing ability one more time on sort of a fast uh, fast break type of play. He goes in for the spin. He could have went up for that shot, but he sees a player cutting towards the basket who has an even better lane towards the basket, and that player goes in for the layup. This is why they cannot double team players or double team Jokic in that low post. Now this is two traditional centers going up against each other. We have Jokic and Jonas Valanciunas, two of the top real, in my opinion, real centers in the NBA. Players who don't, who very rarely stretch it out to the perimeter game, even though both players can shoot the three. However, what we have here is Jokic taking a couple of dribbles to get into the low post. Check this out. None of these players are double teaming. None of them are coming down and that's because of his passing ability which allows him to go one on one in that low post multiple times per game but also his whole career and that's going to continue. You can also see the future of Jokic when you watch the Raptors Mark Gasol. However what we have here is a just a lengthy post up game. He takes one dribble in this low post. He brings that ball up so he takes that hard dribble and then that brings that ball up above his head. Why is he doing that? He's worried about this player reaching in. However, that player doesn't reach in. And what we have here is a quick one, two, and full hook shot for that layup. I'm going to call it a layup anyways. But how does this start? He goes one hard dribble, which brings that ball up. Now, that player was reaching in, which is why he did the beginning of this move to bring that ball up above his head. Because, of course, when you're a big player, you don't want any of those puny players trying to rip the ball from you. Especially when you start going in for that hook shot. Now, if... And he knows, if this post defender comes out to try and cut off that... that hook shot that he's about to take he could easily pass it down to this player and this player was actually quite smart because he stepped back out of the play if you are stuck or your other post player is going for a hook shot or a move towards the middle of the key you need to get closer towards the baseline because if your player comes up to play help defense he can pass it off to you and you can go in for a nice layup however that's not what happens he goes in for the un stoppable hook shot. I call them unstoppable because it's really hard to stop them. Now this is a great move. So he does a, a baby jab step. I call that a baby jab step because he's just trying to open up just a little bit of a lane on that left side to do this move. And what he's going to do is a quick couple dribble move towards the middle and now he's going to do a spin towards the left and a lot of players when they spin towards the left they're gonna go up for that shot and you know what? You could. This is a great way to set up the next move. So by taking a couple dribbles towards the middle, you could go off that backboard. However, if you've got a player, if you've done it a few times, or if you've got a defender who's jump happy like Anthony Davis is, you can get him off the ground, and that's going to allow you to do the up and under easily on that player. So I'm going to show you something really cool right here. 
Now this is something that every post player needs to learn how to do. So when you're posting up a shorter player who can jump, you can do an up and under. Now when you do your up and under, you need to make sure that your elbow is into their armpit right there. We see that right there. The reason why you want to get it into their armpit is because that makes them it makes, it makes the defender forced to go straight up, which is going to allow him to not be able to block your shot. And if you do a baby hook off of that, you're going to make that shot every single time. So remember, up and under, and if he's trying to reach over, elbow into shoulder, into the armpit, which is going to allow you to go up for your shot. And sometimes you will, maybe one out of a thousand times, you're going to get the referee call a foul on you. And maybe one out of a hundred times, they're going to call it a foul on them. So we see this once again here in the low post. He is driving towards the rim on that left side, and he's really banging with that defender. And this is something that you can do as well. So to be able to bang with the defender like this, you're not lowering your shoulder. You're keeping that shoulder above your feet, above your knees. However, you're able to use your whole body to bang into a defender, and it's not a foul until you lower your shoulder. And then what you can do is get close to the rim, especially if you've got a defender coming out trying to block your shot over top, you can use that elbow right there to get around your defender. Now, some refs, if you do this too slow, could call the foul on you. This is something that has always been taught to every single post player I've ever seen. Even when I was a post player and I was having high level coaching, they even taught me this and from like Team Ontario type of uh, coaches. And all you do is just a quick shoulder or quick elbow, I mean, and from there, just a nice, easy reverse layup. You can go in for a regular layup as well in other parts of the game. Obviously, in this position, you'd have to go for the reverse. But that elbow to get that player out of the way is a totally legal move 99.9% .9 of the time. Now, we can actually see the elbow from a reverse angle right here against, uh, against Drummond of Detroit. So he does a quick spin move. Now when he does that spin move, he tries to hook his foot around Drummond's, but Drummond's feet are way too far back for him to be able to do that. But now we see the elbow come out and around. And I'm going to get closer in, and we're going to see that right into that player's armpit. And now, again, he's going to go in this time for the reverse again, but he could have went straight in to that arm right there. He could have went straight into that arm, elbow into that armpit, and that would have been easily a foul on Drummond because his arm cannot be over top of you when you're shooting. But, of course, he just wanted to just get a nice easy layup and not have to worry about free throws. I don't blame him. But at the same time, that would have been an easy foul. And, of course, if you go up into his armpit, there is always the risk of injuring that player. So keep that in mind. You don't want to go up super hard that you're dislocating his shoulder, but you want to go up hard enough that you're going to straighten out that arm, bring it back towards upwise, and that's going to allow you to get a nice easy layup. I hope that these tactics that Jokic uses in his game helps you as well. If it does, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.